Hi, it's Cory, and today we're gonna learn how to play Part of Your World from The Little Mermaid. First thing you wanna make sure to do is have your ukulele in tune. That's gonna be a G on the fourth string, a C on the third string, an E on the second string, and an A on the first string. Now the first thing you should know about this song is it's not a part of my Easy series at all. This is definitely like um, not a super beginner song. We're just going to be using chords so you don't have to worry about a finger picking pattern, but the chords we are using are a little bit more advanced. So just know that going in. That does not mean that a beginner cannot play this song, but it is part of like my medium beginner song series. Alright, so let's get started. The chords you're gonna need for this song will be a B flat. What you're gonna do for that is take your first finger and bar it on the first two strings on the first fret. Take your second finger, place it on the second fret, third string, and your fourth finger on the third fret, fourth string. You're gonna need a C. Take your um, ring finger and place it on the third fret, first string. An A minor. For the A minor, you're going to take your 2nd finger, place it on the 4th string, 2nd fret. You're going to need an F. You're going to take piece, place your 1st finger, place it on the 2nd string, 1st fret, and your 2nd finger on the 4th string, 2nd fret. You're also going to need an F7 chord. Now, first thing you're going to do is get your fingers in an F major chord. Then you're going to take your 3rd finger, place it down on the 3rd string, 3rd fret, and then your pinky or your fourth finger on the first string, third fret. You're also going to need a B flat minor. Now technically a B flat minor would be barring the three strings up here and then placing your third finger on the fourth string, third fret. However, you can get the exact same chord with just barring the top, which is what I'm going to do, and then you just do not strum, or you don't want to strum on the fourth string, because if you are placing your finger here and here at the same time, these are the same note, so you can just do the last, or the bottom three notes, and leave the fourth string out of it. You're also going to need a D minor. That's going to take your first finger, place it on the second string, first fret, your second finger on the fourth string, second fret, and then your third finger right next to it on the next string over. Finally, you're going to need two more chords. That's going to be a G. The G is your first finger on the third string, second fret, second finger on the first string, second fret, and then your third finger right between the two on the next fret down. And then you're going to need a G7. That's like kind of almost the inverted form of a G. You're going to take your first finger, place it on the second string, first fret, your second finger on the third string, second fret, and your third finger on the first string, second fret. All right, after you have all of those chords, I know that's a lot, we're ready to get started. What we're gonna do to start out this song is just keep it simple with playing on the chords. When we get to the chorus, we can add a little bit more of a strumming pattern, but because there are a lot of new chords that we're focusing on, I would just keep it simple to start. For the first verse of the song, we're mainly gonna be switching between a B flat and the C, and then we'll go to an A minor, D minor, and then G7. When we come back the second time around, we'll still have the B flat to the C, and then we'll repeat that, but then we actually go to a D minor, then A minor, D minor to the G7, okay? So make sure you're keeping an eye out for the chords because it's not a super repetitive progression. Things are changing pretty consistently. All right, let's give it a go. Here we go. One, two, here we go. Look at this stuff, isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you say I'm the girl, the girl who has everything? Look at this trove, treasures untold. How many wonders can one cavern hold? Looking around here, you think, sure. She's got everything. All right, let's try the pre-chorus. We're mainly going to be moving from that D minor to the A minor, then D minor again, then G7, G, and C. Let's try it. One, two, here we go. And I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. I've got who's it's and what's it's galore. You want theobobs? I got 20. But who cares? I want more. All right, 
for this next part, when we're getting into the chorus, this is where we're gonna to wanna to add a strumming pattern of some kind. I'm gonna be adding a down, down, up, up, down, up. And so again, that's a down, down, up, up, down, up. If you wanna see what I'm doing here, it's down, down, up, up, down, up. So again, down, down, up, up, down, up. So for the chorus, it will sound like this. One, two, here we go, and I wanna be where the people are. I wanna see, wanna see them dancing, walking around down those, what do you call them again? Feet. Flipping your fins, you don't get too far. Legs are required for jumping, dancing, strolling around down a, what's that word again? minor I just held it and then I went back to the strumming pattern all right for the next part of this song we're going to be going into a second verse of sorts this the chord progression that we were using before will be changing so make sure to keep an eye out for it mainly it's a, a D minor C a minor D minor kind of progression but it does have other chords in there as well so let's give it a shot I would continue doing the strumming pattern up until this point just because we've built up to that point, so why lose that momentum? Here we go. One, two, here we go. What I would give that's really nice and kind of breaks up the previous sections of course though you could also do the ending with just keeping it in the same tempo and not slowing it down and that would sound like this one two here we go and when's it my turn posting the next couple tutorials I'll be posting will all be Disney songs. They are all very difficulty. So some will be really, really easy. Some will be a little bit more difficult like this, but again, they're all still be beginner friendly for anyone who's starting the ukulele. So if you found this helpful, please make sure to subscribe so you can learn the other Disney songs if you're a Disney fanatic like me. Um, otherwise, feel free to comment below if there's a tutorial that you would like to learn and I, I can maybe help you out with that. All right, thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.